Hi sweeties, today we are making kimchi fried rice with shrimp and spam and we are cooking it in our non-stick, non-toxic caraway cookware. We're going to use the four and a half quart saute pan. Let's get into it, but first please subscribe, hit that thumbs up and that notification bell. And for my next trick, I'm gonna do uh, for dinner we'll have Fried rice, we're gonna do kimchi fried rice with shrimp and spam. We're gonna do it in the saute pan because it's got lots of space in there. And uh, let's go over the ingredients. We have some leftover, just long grain white rice and I'll just break that up a little bit before we take it out of the bag. Some onion, carrots, and you know, you can use really whatever kind of vegetables you like, green beans, or uh, you can use frozen vegetables. You just put that in at the end. I'm using kimchi. This is uh, kimchi from the regular grocery store. It says it's spicy, but it is not spicy. Um, but luckily, we had um, lunch the other day at a uh, pop-up uh, bite of Korea and they were selling kimchi so I grabbed some and it's delicious so nice and pungent we're gonna use some less sodium spam you can use smoked sausage for that instead of the spam if you want and some less sodium soy sauce oh some shrimp these are some nice large shrimp and we're just gonna pat those dry because we want them to get a nice sear on them so we're gonna pat them pretty dry and then we'll put a little drizzle of oil, season them up, a couple of eggs, and uh, that's about it. Let's get to it. Let's start with a little, we just have a piece of uh, onion hanging out in the fridge. Peel these carrots right quick. Cut this one in half. Watch those fingers. We'll get the spam done, pop the top. <laughs> get it out. There we go. I don't think we need all of that spam. Let's see. We'll cut it. I mean, there are four of us. Spam is kind of powerful. I, I don't think we need it all. I don't think we need it all. Let's just use, say half the can. Cut it into cubes. Now the kimchi sometimes can Come in kind of big pieces. That's actually not too big. I'm gonna run a knife through it just to oh, look at the green onion in there. Just to make it look at that. You can see the flavor in there. That's beautiful. Way to go, bite of Korea. Their food is so good. So if you're in Atlanta and you catch a pop-up of Bite of Korea, definitely go check them out. I'm just gonna run, actually I'm gonna use probably more kimchi. I'm gonna add some fresh kimchi at the end because there is a difference in the taste in the fresh kimchi and the cooked kimchi. I'm gonna season the shrimp, but first I'm gonna put 
about a tablespoon of oil on there. I'm gonna oil the shrimp instead of oiling the pan so they're evenly coated. Season it with a little bit of powdered ginger. A little powdered garlic. A little turmeric. Pinch, pinchiest pinch of kosher salt. Toss that all together and preheat our pan. Now I've got the saute pan heating over medium heat. We'll drop our shrimp in. And it looks like they can fit in one layer. This was just a, about a pound and a quarter of shrimp. And I like a nice big pot so that we can put a big batch in. You know, when you're cooking, I like to get in and out of the kitchen, especially on a weeknight. And if you have to do three, four batches to get through a dish, it's just time consuming. So I do like a nice wide bottom pot, if you know what I'm talking about. And let me get nice and fragrant. We'll let that cook. I'm gonna cook the shrimp and then pull those out and then build the rest of the fried rice in this pan. It doesn't take long for the shrimp to cook, just a minute or two on each side. before they get overdone and rubbery. Right in that oil that's left in there, we'll put our onions and carrots. Let those saute around. That's gonna take a little bit of time to soften up. <laughs> The saute pan does come with a lid. And the lid has a little bit of a vent. There you go, vent hole in it. We're not using the lid right now, but I thought I would show you. There we go, our onions and carrots starting to soften, get a little bit more color to them. I'm gonna go ahead and add in the spam. Some chopped broccoli florets would be good in this too move that over a little bit so we have some space for spam okay. and we'll let the spam get nice and brown all right our spam is starting to take on some good color so let's toss it around let that continue to cook We're gonna go in with, let's say, uh, half a cup of kimchi. And we're gonna cook off some of the moisture so we don't have soggy fried rice. Yeah, that looks good. That looks, I actually added a little more kimchi into like three quarters of a cup of the chopped kimchi. And then I'll save a little bit of the fresh kimchi just to add in at the end to brighten up that kimchi flavor. Now we'll go in with our rice and I'll keep the leftover rice in a Ziploc bag and then I can just squeeze it to break it up and you can see, you know, when you have leftover rice it all gets clumpy and sticks together and you gotta break it apart with a spoon or with your hands. And this is actually just much easier. That, ooh, that's about four cups of cooked long grain white rice. And that's a day old white rice because you do want it to dry out a bit. Then we can sprinkle. Let's start with about three tablespoons, two, tab two tablespoons. Start with about two tablespoons of soy sauce. Then we can add more if we need. A 
just want to make sure you get all of that rice coated. Well, I shut the heat off because that rice is done. It's hot all the way through. And now to finish it, I'm going to put in just a dash of roasted sesame oil. Just a little bit. It goes a long way, but boy, does it add such a great flavor. Oh, the smell when it hits the heat of the pan. Oh, it's so good. Now we can put our shrimp in and dinner is served. That's it, time to ring the dinner bell. Ain't that pretty. Shrimp, spam, kimchi, one pot meal, delicious. And it's pretty quick once you get all of your veggies chopped up. I forgot the egg. How could I? How could I forget the egg? We clear a space there in the center. We're just going to scramble it right in the pan. Let's scramble up a little bit and then we'll mix it in. There we go. Yeah, we'll just scramble it in there and then mix it into the rest of the hot rice. Easy peasy. Not a problem. Or I could have just fried an egg in another pan and put it on top or a couple of eggs. But there you go. And mix it in. Now we're done. Dinner is done. That looks real good. And I love that the set includes a pan large enough to cook a whole meal for a whole family. Uh, that comes in very handy. So that is the 11 and a half inch, 11.8 inch, 4.5 in, uh, quart saute pan from Caraway Cookware. Easy cleanup, just let the pan cool down and wash it with warm soapy water. Nothing was sticking. The kimchi fried rice came out great. Cleanup is easy. I really like cooking with Caraway Cookware. The nonstick works great. Watch my full review, I'll put the link right here and find out why, spoiler alert, I sent it back. Yeah, we had some problems. Um, I was really sad to see it go because I think it's beautiful cookware. <sighs> anyway, please subscribe to Sweet Savant. Hit that thumbs up, that notification bell, and have a delicious day.